Greetings Minecrafters and welcome to what is hopefully another interesting conversation for you today on all things well-being. Uh, my name is Kimberly Quinn and I am thrilled to have another conversation about becoming the boss of your brain and today we're going to talk about the synchronicity switch and once it's, once it's turned on it's on and the world is just you just have the world by the ass it's the greatest feeling so there are some things that we have like some prep work we have to do to kind of get into that place of the flow and having things just flow through you which means getting rid of the junk it, 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 just like like a clogged pipe a clogged drain a clogged artery a clogged anything you know we have to get rid of rid of that and so we, that means we need to change the quality of our thinking and so one of the first steps is to sh sort of shift out of this thinking of appearances and sort of all this external stuff as far as what people think of us and all of that because we talked about it with the frame thing whenever we have our need for approval being out here when when our when we when we have a need in general without it we're uncomfortable right so if our needs are out here with other people's approval we're going to be that's going to be exhausting for one unfulfilling for two it's immediate dope fix quickly when we get approval right but um long lasting wise it's not worth it we got to be we have to reside in our frame for the synchronicity synchronicity switch to be turned on and we have to be swimming in our own authenticity which means that um, we are not in need of other people's approval doesn't mean we don't like it doesn't mean it doesn't feel good of course it does um, I mean I, I love it when I do a presentation or something and people stay after and and to share their stories and say nice things of course I do difference is I don't go looking for it don't need it it's just kind of a nice bonus when it happens I guess is what I'm saying so we have to shift out of that because whenever we are caring about what people think it means what they think of me is more important than what I think of me. And then you're not going to be, you're not in your frame, and you're not going to be in a place for synchronicity to happen. Got to reside in the frame. Um, made a few notes here. Oh, yeah, and the people, the people who, if you notice, the people do get tons and tons of approval. Just sort of happens because they are in their frame, they are in the flow, and synchronicity is happening for them. Um, they don't care if they're approved of. They're too busy being in the now and they don't care they smile and nod and keep rolling um, and then it's also important next after the approval thing to realize that success is an internal process so when the synchronicity switches on the success is just rolling and the thing is we are bringing success into everything we do it might be washing the dishes it might be gardening it might be you know our relationships it might be a, a, a chat with a stranger sitting on a bench in the subway and stuff just rolls out of you and helps that person or they help you or you connect on some intellectual level and learn something, who knows, okay? Um, but we're bringing success into whatever we do, any small thing that we're doing, because it's an internal process. And we, oh, what a beautiful butterfly, they're everywhere. I think it's a little lilacs. Yeah, anyway, and the bird symphony is here too. So success, when we once we realize it's an internal process, we have to, we we are we are also working at being limitless limitless because then success will chase you so we've also next have to get rid of that vision that there's some kind of glass ceiling whatever it is you're trying to do if you're trying to start a business you're trying to become an influencer on YouTube you whatever it's like oh I can only go this far and success at that level is for other people well if you believe that that's gonna be true you're gonna be bumping your head on this glass ceiling you know infinitely forever till you decide to stop that for me and I don't mind sharing with you my little trick um, with whether it's YouTube or it's doing conferences at different universities or um, success at my, at, at my at my home base of Champlain or whatever it is if I'm kind of feeling that you know I'm, I'm here and I don't know like that's as far as it's going kind of thing to be honest I don't feel that way that much anymore because I work at it so much but I picture that scene in Willy Wonka on the Chocolate Factory at the end when you know Charlie wins it, everlasting gobstopper, you know the whole story, and then he's with Gene Wilder, and they literally blow through the glass. That's what I that's what I picture in my head. Don't mind sharing it with you, right? Why I don't mind sharing it with you because I'm not in a competition with anybody. Abundance is infinite. There's enough for all of us. So this brings us to the next one after the blowing through the grass ceiling thing, is that if you feel like you're taking too much from the universe, the universe is going to stop giving it to you. The universe responds to every single thing that we put out there, whether it's 
uh, you know, that we want more of something or less of something. If we put out that we want less of it, less will come. If we want to put out, we want, we like this, we want more of it, it will come. So remember the thing with the, with the pizza, you know, if, if, if it's it, out in reality, if we were rude and, you know, there only so, so much pizza to go around and we took a second piece without asking any, everyone in the room if they had their first piece yet, well, yeah, that's rude. But the universe doesn't work like that. They're infinite pizzas. You can eat, take your second piece, you can take a second pizza, no one cares. And it's very important to bust through that whole thing because if you feel like a bad person because you're want, because you're, you have your heart desires or, or because you've had so many good things happen to you and I'm, I'm being greedy for asking for even more, no, it's infinite, infinite. So if you think, you know, oh no, I'm a bad person for, for wanting to make a lot of money, well, guess what's not gonna come to you? A lot of money. Okay, and if it's all the other ways of wealth with family and lots of friendships and traveling and square footage, if that's your thing, or having a nice smaller home that's just exactly how you want it, or who knows? Um, obviously, physical health, you gotta, you've got to believe that it's all okay and that you're worthy of it. Because if you don't believe you're worthy of it, not going to happen. Um, so limitless people are also, Maslow said this, I think, are independent of the good opinion of others. So that, this doesn't mean, again, we don't feel good when people say nice things. And notice Maslow said the good opinion of others. He didn't say the bad opinion of others because that's already assumed. Don't care what you think. Thank you because if I'm out of my frame temporarily and caring about whatever you say and do or positive or negative, that means what you think is of me is more important than what I think of me don't want that stuff so even if it's compliments again it's a bonus it's nice we want to graciously accept compliments always sit with it feel the goodness it's rolling around this also attracts more compliments though guess what my day is not going to change with or without the compliment that is the whole thing it feels great again reside there so you attract more of it though it's not a need like we need to breathe oxygen we're just fine without it very very important also, uh, this is, I guess, the fifth one. When we are in a synch synchronistic place, I means stuff just happening. The universe is just bringing stuff to us because because we're feeling it authentically and it's and we're being who we are. Um, we also are less apt to notice other people's snarkiness, or maybe we notice it, but we don't care, and we kind of just sort of get it that whatever their behavior is that's going on is because of the place they are in and it doesn't have to do with us. It also doesn't mean we give them a pass. If somebody rattles something off that's terrible or you witness them saying or being unkind to somebody else, it doesn't mean we don't say something like, not cool, what are you doing? Or can I offer you help? You know, something like that. But we're not taking it personally. Their snark is all about them and their their snark is coming from whatever, you know, headspace that they're in. And we realize that that's also independent of us. This is very important. So this leads us, you know, into the flow because we've got to get rid of the junk. And it's an ongoing process. We can realize, okay, I'm in the process of getting rid of the junk, the caring about approval, the taking things personally because, you know, the high majority of what anybody says is about them, even if they're using your name and stuff, it's about them. It's their own filter. So not caring about the approval, not taking things personally, not residing in the past. We talked about that yesterday. When we, when we reside in a place of guilt, we're bringing the past and all the battery acid that goes along with the past and cor corroding the now. Same thing with the future. When we're residing in these anxious places, we're bringing worries of the future into the now and corroding it like battery acid too. So all of this is the junk. We've got to be clear of the junk and working at it. It doesn't mean you've arrived. It's all about the journey, right? Bringing success into everything we do. Once we are, for the most part, really cleared out of the junk, um, forgiving ourselves of everything we've ever done, forgiving everybody else for everything they've ever done. And we are this open channel. Think of it in, as an artery, a healthy artery, if you like. Free of junk, free of clogged up cholesterol. Think of a pipe like a plumber, clear of all the junk and hair and disgusting stuff that gets stuck in pipes. Clear of that. <sighs> then we are so, so free, free for the synchronicity switch to be turned on, which means the universe is hearing us like with a megaphone. Okay, I'm ready. Pick me. Pick me to write that children's book I've always wanted to write. Pick me to write 
the play. Pick me to start the business. I think I used the cupcake business as an example last time. Pick me for that partner who's going to just be amazing, who we can equally share our, our, our lives with, equally share our lives. Oh, the garbage person's here, which means it's going to get a little loud and Giovanni might bark. Um, pick me, pick me, pick me, because here's the thing, the universe is going to ride right by you if you're, if you're full of junk and you're not acceptable like a catcher's mitt for all this synchronistic stuff to happen. Then once you are free and the synchronicity switch is turned on, people will just start showing up in your life that are literally voicing verbally what you're talking about. And uh, my friend Tom actually did his whole dissertation on synchronicity. And I, 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 I joke because whenever I meet with him in person, sometimes even on the phone, but in person, it's, it's the, it's, it is wild because it, one synchronistic thing after the next happens before and after I meet with him. It's wild. The last time there was a bumper sticker in front of me on this car, that was exactly what he just said to me. Like, it's like, okay, I guess Tom's coming now. You know, it's just wild. And this starts happening because people start to see that God is inside us. We're part of God. It's not like God's out here, up there. Universe, say universe, source, if you want, whatever. You know, or an old man with a beard in the sky or whatever. That we, that, that we are very much a part of this divine connection. Well, only when we truly get that can our unique personality align with what it is we're meant to do and we're all, you know, synchronistically in alignment. And I can't even tell you how real this is. It's not like touchy-feely, blah, blah, blah. It's real. Because once the, it's like, for me, it's like a faucet. I, I couldn't, not that I want to shut it off, but I couldn't if I wanted to. It's just constant. And people, strangers and stuff, those say things that like, I just, asked about this oh my god you know and it's wild so be limitless be limit be limitless no glass ceiling all the things we just talked about and the synchronicity switch will stay on here's the thing it does not get shut off once it's shut on you gotta pay attention this is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful northern Vermont have a mindful very synchronistic day